armchair experts love saying that people only drive BMWs until they can afford Porsches, and as the owner of a first generation Z4, I've always bristled at that idea a little bit. I've had my car for three years and I absolutely love it, so why would I ever give it up for something else? Well, after spending some time in the Porsche Boxer 25 Years Edition, I can unfortunately confirm that that old taunt is absolutely true. This car is so close to perfect that I would consider selling an organ to have one as a daily driver. Before I explain how I could possibly betray Bavaria in favor of a P-car like this, be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. The Porsche 718 Boxster 25 Years Edition celebrates the mid-engine Roadster's silver anniversary, as its name suggests. However, unlike the 1997 Boxster, this vehicle is designed to ape the 1993 show car that previewed Porsche's entry-level sports car. As such, it gets GT silver paint draped over a single-tone Bordeaux red interior with some cool exterior touches that kind of liven up this vehicle and tie it back to that 93 Boxster concept. For example, you get gold accents on the side intakes as well as the front bumper. The Boxster 25 also gets a very cool matte black windshield surround that imparts a little bit of the original concept's chop top speedster verve, as well as a slick Bordeaux red roof with Boxster 25 logos embroidered right here that stay visible even when the roof is down. Furthermore, it gets edition-specific 20-inch wheels with a 90s-styled gold face and polished wheel barrels. However, I do wish Porsche had given this thing more of a speedline two-piece design, just as on the original concept car, instead of this chunkier five-spoke. Even so, the Boxster 25 years looks great. It has the same overall styling as the rest of its family, with just a few unique touches that elevate it above the crowd. Underneath those styling tweaks, Porsche gave the 25 years edition a 394 horsepower 4 liter flat 6, derived from the same one in the GTS and the Spider. A 6 speed manual transmission is standard, but they will put a PDK in there if you want it. However, I'm pretty stoked that this one is a DIY affair. In spite of that hardware, the 25 years is more intended for high speed grand touring rather than absolute maximum performance. For example, you can't get Porsche's carbon bucket seats in this that are supportive but extremely confining, nor can you option their exceptional but slightly daily driver overkill carbon ceramic brakes. I don't mind any of that though, and let me show you why. Now, even though the Boxer 25 Years Edition isn't as hardcore as Porsche's GT models or even as the Boxster Spider, that doesn't mean it's not an incredibly enjoyable vehicle to drive, especially on a road like this. It definitely can still kick some ass, but even if it's not intended to be an absolute hardcore track machine, the Boxer 25 Years is still an incredible performance vehicle. I mean, you'd expect that of any Porsche. They all kind of just have this baked in goodness on a curvy road, but this vehicle takes it to another level. The Boxer 25 Years has that fantastic flat six that just sounds phenomenal, particularly with the standard sports exhaust. And this vehicle also has automatic rev matching, which makes you feel like a hero when you're slowing down for a corner. It is just such a divine, wonderful vehicle to drive. And I cannot get enough of that fantastic flat six bellow. The sound this thing makes is definitely going to get you in some trouble because it's just so addictive to rev this thing out to redline. And because it has pretty tall gears, redline means you're going pretty fast by the time you get there. However, the Boxster has plenty of control as well if you really decide you want to overcook it. This fantastic mid-engine layout makes for nearly perfect handling balance. So if you kind of have to suddenly lift off in a corner, it's not gonna snap around and bite you in the ass like rear engine Porsches used to do. Additionally, even though it doesn't have the hardcore track-ready carbon ceramic brakes, the steel brakes that are standard on the Boxster 25 years are more than enough to keep you under control. Taken in total, the Boxster 25 years is just the perfect vehicle for a day like today. Sunny, just a little bit of a breeze and a beautiful curvy road to take advantage of with a super enjoyable emotive engine and fantastic steering and exceptional handling and fantastic braking. Just everything that you want to have a good time. And again, it doesn't really beat you up. Even though I have the suspension set at its firmest, it's very comfortable and enjoyable to drive over some of these bumps. It doesn't really kill you on a highway either. You could very easily do miles and miles and miles on end in this thing. 
and not really be much worse for the wear. It's just such a good GT car on top of being an exceptional sports car. In addition to the performance out on the road, the 25 years edition also gives you a really wonderful interior experience as well. I would probably prefer a black dash topper on other vehicles, but I think the monotone Bordeaux is perfect for that kind of retro vision that this car is trying to capture. The Boxster 25 logo here facing the passenger is just a little bit more of a reminder that you're driving something special. It's not an S or a GTS or something that you can find at any Porsche dealer. You sought this out particularly for the advantages and the design choices that they made with this vehicle. And then beyond that, you get the attention to detail that we've come to expect from modern Porsches. Almost every surface in this interior is covered in nice soft material, be it leather or well padded plastic. There are a few hard bits here and there, but it's nothing terribly offensive, even when you're spending the kind of money that they're asking for the Boxster 25 years. Overall, it really feels like you're getting what you pay for. These seats are fantastic with plenty of lateral support and adjustability to suit either a canyon drive like today or a long slog down the freeway. Overall, there's really not much to complain about. If you really wanted me to start picking some nits, I would say that the little cup holder icon that they've got on the dashboard applique looks out of place, especially since there's that fantastic 25 years edition logo right next to it drawing your eye. And then the PCM is just a little bit dated. It's kind of difficult to find functions and make changes and alterations when you're on the fly especially. And the screen display isn't quite as high resolution as you'd expect. And then again, it does have smartphone mirroring. So if you're really offended by this display, you can just plug your phone in and use your native applications. As wonderful as this car is in nearly every driving situation, there are a couple of major drawbacks. First of all, Porsche is limiting the 25 years to 1,250 units. And if you haven't already spoken for one, you're too late. The other is probably a more significant barrier of entry for most people, and it's one that applies to lots of Porsche products. Price. The Boxster 25 years starts at $101,450, and with a few options like ventilated seats and a Bose sound system, our tester costs about $106,000. That's obviously not cheap. It's odd to think that Porsche's entry-level Roadster, which started at less than $40,000 25 years ago, is easily a six-figure car nowadays. And yet, it still feels worth every penny, with nearly flawless vehicle dynamics paired with superb craftsmanship and interior comfort. If you're one of the lucky people to get your hands on a 25 years, you get all of that intrinsic Boxster goodness with a huge dose of flash and style. Thanks for watching. Now then, does anyone want to buy a kidney? Because I've got an extra that I'm not using.